mom was not there. Every time she would come home, she would run away after some time. So it was very disappointing. Means she's one home one second, the next day she'll give us about 20 rupees, go out, buy something, and then she's gone. Then dad was jobless. He used to cry, go search for her, come back, and then he'll leave his job because he's depressed. So we were left homeless, so my grandparents put us in. When I came into the homes, I was three years old and I was very happy because it seemed really nice and it seemed big. <laughs> and there were so many like kids like me, so it was fun. And the auntie was not strict, she was very caring and loving. Auntie Dinah and Uncle John. <laughs> My experience in cottage is very, it's a part of life that you can not forget because it's really entertaining. I mean, you have so many experiences. Different people from different places coming together. We become friends. When we are not working, we do sports like we have athletics, we have badminton, table tennis, football, cricket, uh, various games. My sponsor is Mr. Bernard. We have a close relationship because when he comes to uh, for some work purpose in India, he comes to see me. I write a lot. He writes also. He sends me parcels. His, his sister-in-law sends me parcels, Auntie Andy. If I didn't have a place in the homes or a sponsorship, I would be homeless. Maybe I would have gone to some local school which has no proper education or something. But I don't think I would have come up to this level and my education would not be this good. After I leave Dr. Graham's homes, I will be sponsored by Mr. Bernard to do my further studies. My dream in life is to be of good hospitality service to everyone, so I'll do uh, hotel management and maybe someday on my own. Just hoping. <laughs>